great strategy. It's really simple. It's got three letters and it applies to everything from anxiety and depression, um, drugs, alcohol, uh, gambling, eating disorders, because you are the universal platform for solving all of society's issues. We call it nip it in the bud. Really simple. <laughs> nip. N for notice. I for inquire. And P for plan or provide. Notice you're feeling wobbly or someone else is looking a bit off or distressed. Inquire. The whole premise of Are You OK Day is built around giving people the skills to ask the question. Hi, Tom, I noticed you look a bit stressed lately. Are you OK? Like, actually ask. And it's quite hard to do that because we have patterns of communication. But being able to say to a kid, I noticed you're a bit flat. Is everything OK? Did you have an OK morning? Did you sleep last night? Inquire will allow people to lean in. And I can't tell you enough that when you have the skills, the top two or three questions, and I'll give you a couple of my favourites, people lean into this space. And then it's a matter of going, whoa, I did not expect you to say that. So what do you do as an educator? Because we are built inherently to respond to the behaviour. And often our first response is just look at the overt behaviour and, and manage that behaviour, not look at what's driving it underneath. So I ask you to always look a bit deeper. That empathy level drops another run. On a scale of one to 10, how's your day been? Oh, what's happened for you um, to be a two? And, and what would help for you to become an eight again? Simple questions you can do with a preppy or a 90 year old, but it reveals people's what's going on internally for them. My other favourite, um, and I fear asking sometimes our staff this, what is the thing keeping you up at night? <laughs> the third favourite I have, and this again, little kid or your grandmother, if you had a magic wand right now, what would you improve about your life? Beautiful question. Inquire, get some info out of people, and then plan and provide if you think they need help. Make time. Allow them to actually move through their worry and to lean into it and then to come back to good. Allow them to go to a five or a six and come back to a one or a two. Have a space in your classroom that allows, or in your school that allows for this space. I love this beautiful analogy and it says, when chaos is knocking on your door, let calm answer. And when you see chaos in kids and distress, wrap calm around them. It's really simple and you don't need a counsellor, you need a good educator for that.